Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to make a customized stitch for Cookham AK Pedigree Pro 11. Uh, I think you have already downloaded my stitching template for the Cookham 8K camera. This is a customized customized for my own camera, but I have seen that it works really well on everybody's camera. And if you can optimize based on this stitch template. Uh, it will be your private stitching template for your own camera. And this stitching template will help you get a very high quality stitching in PDV Pro 11. Now I have I can show you how to uh, take the advantage of the stitching template. So this is what we have. The stitching template, the PDV Pro application, and some sample images. Uh, the first step is, uh, you can see, this one was shot with DNG8 and the stack as a 16-bit DNG file. Uh, this is a virtual tour example I have shoot uh, a few days ago. Here in the Adobe Camera Raw, you can make some customized stitch for the for this image, like this. Okay, and uh, next up, you can uh, save the image. I highly recommend you save image as TIFF because with TIFF file you will have the highest the color depth and the highest imaging quality. And the color space uh, it depends on your uh, customer and your screen or some other uh, display system. In this in this uh, video, I'm going to show you in Adobe RGB and save export from the DNG to TIFF file 16 bit. And now let's open the PDQ Pro 11. Uh, in, in my computer, I use the uh, the PDQ Pro 11.19. Yeah, you can see that. And I will show you how to use the stitching template. Y you don't want to uh, open the stitching template directly because it is a stitching template, not a stitching project. The next step is to uh, uh, this TIFF file, drag and drop to the uh, PTQ Pro 11. And the PTQ 11 already uh, have the support for the Kukam camera. So it will automatically import twice for you. You can see it's a dual fisheye image. And PTQ have already uh, automatically import twice. But this image, you can see in the panoramic editor, this image are, are not aligned. Next up is to click this file, apply template. You see that? Or you can use File, Apply Template, uh, click on Others, click on Others, and, uh, and copy, copy, and paste, copy and paste to this folder. You can see I have already put my stitching template in this folder. And if you don't know the, uh, the, the, the position of the Template is usually in the C user uh, file name update roaming PDQ stick template, but uh, directly copy and paste uh, to this file and double click on the stitching template. And you can see now the imaging got perfectly aligned, uh, even though we don't uh, align, align them with control point. But you can see that it is already a uh, very, very promising result. And you can uh, turn on the stitching line and make a closer look at uh, the stitching line even before before alignment you can see it almost uh, aligned perfectly without any control point right but if you are not satisfied with the result because everybody's lens uh, are different so click on align images and you can get an optimized result customized to your own camera and you can save this project as your own stitching template and use the same approach as we mentioned before. And you can use the batch processing mechanism of PDQ Pro 11 to speed up your workflow. And next up, if your alignment it fails, uh, you can go to the control point and find more control points for your cameras. For example, in my project, I only have five, com five control points that's sometimes not good enough. Uh, then you can use, you can see on the bottom of the screen, you can see my uh, keyboard actions. Click on shift and uh, drag and drop the rectangle and right click on generate control point. 
the PDG will automatically find control point for you. And on this part, drag and drop until you have uh, plenty of control points on your uh, image circle because the, the fisheye images will align based on the counter counter section, right? So the the generate enough control point and click on optimizer with the default settings and the run optimizers and the PDG Pro 11 will uh, automatically optimize the stitching for you. And now the stitching will be even better than the initial result because it was based on the geometric alignment and the control points. So this is how you apply my stitching template to your camera. And uh, after that, you can save, you can save as your, save as template. So you can save as your own template for your project, your for your own camera. And in the future, you can apply this template for your own camera. So that will be a customized template for yourself. And we can view this uh, place interactively. You can see the stitching is, is perfect. Okay see that and if you look down you can see my tripod and shadows of course for the high quality virtual tour you have to do a nadir patch you have to cor correct the images in the in the mirror right uh, yes yeah, so one thing I have to mention is that uh, the stitching result directly from PT Group Pro 11 is not exactly the place you have to after the export, you have to mirror it, mirror, make horizontally mirror because uh, this image circle is is flipped. So you have to flip it back for the normal view. Okay, next I will show you the. Yes, I will show you how to. Uh, yes, create a panorama and uh, and PDG Pro 11 you already have a, a bigger dimensions than the official software. So you can correct to the this 8K, 8K. and uh, you can output as the JPEG, TIFF, PSD. And of course, you can output individual layers. If you are not satisfied with the result of PDG Pro, you can uh, manually correct the same lines by output individual layers. And for the blending, I usually use PDG Pro, PDG Blender by default, but sometimes I prefer the Smart Blend plugin for a better stitching result in a complicated situation. So you can try yourself. In this tutorial, I use the PDG uh, default Blender and uh, only output the blended panorama because I want to show you in the later on you have to flip the image and create the panorama will be very fast. And you, now you have get uh, have the panorama from the PDG Pro 11. And you have next up, you have to flip the image for the the right for the right view. Okay, so in I use uh in, I use Photoshop. Uh, you can use you can write your own uh, software to uh, correct this problem. So the next is very easy to duplicate the layers and uh, Control Plus T free transform and uh, flip horizontal. Yes, uh, this is exactly what is the final result. And in the future, the PTQ Pro 11 will have the flipped option. But now it's not ready yet. And in the future, the coming version of PTQ Pro, uh, I was working with uh, uh, used the author of the PTQ Pro 11. We are working on the uh, automatically apply the best lens settings for your Kukam 8K. So next time when you import the camera, uh, you don't you don't have to apply the uh, stitching template because the PDG have already calculated for you for the best settings and and we also know that in the Kukam 8K camera there is uh, auto leveling numbers in the exit information so I'm working with used I hope in the future we can have the uh, automatically the optimized the stitching at the same time with auto leveling in PDG Pro 11. And while output, you can flip the back, it's inside the PDG Pro 11. So that's the, for the feature of the stitching template and the stitching algorithm. So that's all for today's tutorial. I hope it will be helpful for you, and uh, see you next time.